Hello and welcome Year 7s to English. I've gotten to know you over the past term and I'm getting a clearer idea of each of you as writers. Today we'll be focused on the writing convention of spelling, which will help us when we are crafting a text for a particular purpose. So what I've noticed is that while marking your presentations and video assignments, there are some uh, phonological spelling errors in your own independent writing. So you've had the opportunity to work on your own text on a number of occasions, and some of you have seeked spelling advice during that text construction. The good news is that it can be easily fixed. So remember, spelling is a skill which takes us different amounts of time to memorize. Good spellers often draw on a range of linguistic resources like phonemes. So what is a phoneme? A phoneme describes as the smallest possible unit of speech of sound within a word. The word comes from the Greek word phonema, which means sound. So when we read, we translate the symbols into sound and we decode the word. The English language has about 44 sounds of speech. These 44 sounds are represented in the English writing system by the combination of 26 letters of the alphabet. How do we build our phonemic awareness? The single biggest predictor of illiteracy is phonemic awareness, that is, the ability to perceive the sameness, difference, order, and number of sounds within words. So much of phonemic awareness has to do with early development of our auditory cortex, and this is part of our brain that deals with sound. When we speak um, and break up a word into sounds, we are segmenting. For example, take the word fun. When I segment it, it sounds like f, a, uh, n. Here, each phoneme is spelled by one letter. In English, a phoneme can be spelled to one to four letters. So I've got an example there, male. The phoneme can be spelled by two letters, m, a, o. Uh, catch, k, a, ch, through, th, r, o, h, 